not. Here's me. On a... Hmm. This is really old wallpapers in the background. <laughs> but it's not about that now. Definitely not about that at all. <laughs> so, it's an uh, absence of preparation, so... Uh, and it's good. It's always good. So, I'm just going to say what I see. And I see a lot with my inner vision. Well, not to mention that I see myself as information, which, uh, which is, uh, which was really versatile, and I would say that yes, I had a lot of limiting, um, flattering beliefs, but I'm um, I'm playing with them already, but it's not now about that. Let me just say it right away that. Love is natural state. I said that somewhere before, but I'm just going to repeat it. Love is really natural state. And um, you see, I realized that love doesn't come because it doesn't go away. And you know why it doesn't go away? Because it's always here. It is. It's literally like it's basement of all the worlds. Oh. So... Falling in love is a uh, different thing, it's, uh, it's like a laser that the source, which is all of us, um, uses in order to lighten up a um, certain personality. So me as a personality witnesses someone else's uh, uniqueness as another personality, and I fall in, uh, like fall in love, which simply means that the source, which is also me and that person and everybody else, lighten up that particular fragment of the whole picture in order for this personality to witness beauty of someone else's personality and uh, just because that's how the source uh, is it's just always in love with themselves because just oh great my laptop shut up that's awesome <laughs> so you see love is something that is and i've noticed that well, a lot of people, they think that they are vulnerable when they in love or just wait, when they feel love. I am as, the, as this scientist, as it happens, like my, one of my sides is this explorer. So I've been exploring this love state the, uh, lately and I realized that um, uh, vulnerability is not about love at all. You see, when love is natural state, uh, we may feel vulnerable just because love, when we allow ourselves to feel love, which is our natural state, it starts to stream in a body and it starts to touch those blockages that, that were already there. And once it's, it touched those blockages, we feel uh, as if we're vulnerable because, well, of course, if you see those unflattering beliefs that are... Uh, connected with blockages and my laptop again uh, started to make this noise so just uh, you know be okay with that and uh, that's when we see those unfurring beliefs and those beliefs are so distorted and they are so far away from the way the source us sees us as personalities that it hurts so bad and that's where this vulnerability comes from because we literally feel like we've been covering those unflattering beliefs with our uh, so-called makeup, with decorations, with outer ideas, and here we go, here we go, and yes, here we are without those uh, coverings and curtains and masks, and here we are, and that's why it feels like this, like that, it's like we're vulnerable, but in fact, love Love is the only power, and I would say that um, I noticed this really interesting thing, like, you see, when you love someone, or when you feel like you like someone a lot, there's always a possibility, a potential, that this person is not going to feel the same. Uh, it happens because we can force others to love us or to like us, and it's good, because, honestly, that would be really unpleasant if we have to force someone or if we can't control someone at this point, because love is very natural state, but we don't really want uh, others to feel like 
we don't want to force others because you know when you're free it's really nice to interact with free creatures and slaves are not interesting at all so I lost my thoughts yeah so yeah so there is this possibility that someone is not going to like you in return and if you know that you like someone but this person still you, you're not sure that you feel like oh there's great potential but still you're not sure and that's where this thing kicks in because here you have possibility to explore another person's uniqueness even just through your physical senses through just your inner knowledge and I'm telling you the more you're going to get to know this person the more you're going to like this person and it's going to be the algorithm with anyone that you feel resonance with so if you're going to like someone else again which is multiple thing uh, because love uh, always uh, is so and this laser of your attention is going just to light up different creatures and you see we just we all thought that oh love is just something like this little stream and if I love someone and then someone else appears and if I love someone else then I have to stop love this first person but why am I what am I like, greedy no I'm rich uh, AF because I have like uh, source of love is just inside of me I am the source of love and whole oh, why would I just do this you know why would I cut the stream so I can love as many people as I want the same as those people also can love as many people as they want so uh, and I just noticed if I have presence with someone if I just like someone if I just feel like oh my attention attention goes there and if I start to investigate, which I do, because of course I feel resonance, so I just want to explore. And the more I explore, just the more I like what I see. And um, here's the thing. Uh, I have a choice to explore more and to fall in love and more, just to love and just to enjoy, celebrate this person's being. Or I can just say, okay, I'm not going to do this because who knows, you know, what it's going to be. And this is something... Oh, it's getting darker here. It's getting darker. Hmm. But I don't want to put the lights on because I enjoy this twilight. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, there is a choice. And we can explore or we can just... Mm, I'm not going to do because who knows, who knows. Well, let me say, let me say that... Well, interconnectedness of all of us is... A is marvelous it's wow it's like yeah I knew that before but now a lot of puzzles they just come together and this is beautiful so the point is uh, I realized well I was observing myself you know I'm in love with so many people and I haven't even met those people some of them I haven't met them even in person but and some of them are men some of them are women and Man, I see their beauty. That's what fall in love is. I just this, I just see their unique beauty of personalities, of their beautiful energetic pictures. You know, it all is just as uh, as this uh, sum like uh, inner qualities, and it lightens up with them. I don't know, just everything in them. And I see this beauty shine through them. I like that. It's such a view. And you know something? I don't want to steal my own wealth. My wealth, I mean, here it is. I can. I'm in love with them. They're so beautiful. All have very unique journeys all around the globe, but so beautiful. And I don't know. I'm still like, exploring this because uh, it's been the <laughs> total darkness. <laughs> it's been the my um, interest uh, since uh, September, and beautiful things happen. And well, let me just say <laughs> that I just did something back in summer where I just uh, set my intention 
and I just pictured some people I want to interact with and I knew those qualities of energies and just qualities and that uh, I would appreciate in them. Let me tell you, uh, the universe, aka me, uh, showed me that it's possible. So I was like, wow, <laughs> yes, it's possible. But you know, once you just, as I call it, once you realize that something is possible, it's like your feet, your both feet were in one uh, staircase, staircase, one one particular stair, I guess that's the word stair, on level, on one level, let's say. Of course, those levels are metaphoric, but still, both feet were there. Once you realize that something is possible, you put one foot on the second level, but your another foot is still on the previous level. And you, at that moment when the second feet, the foot follows the first one, feels like you're not there where you've been, so it's not comfortable already, and you're not there where your first foot is, totally. And this moment in between is when the old stuff comes up. And as soon as I realized that it's possible, it was such a beautiful feeling and after I woke up uh, in a low state because those and I know exactly how it works I know the algorithm pretty well so this is one of the reasons why I tattooed this wave sign on the inner side of my ankle because these waves they not to mention they symbolize a lot of other things to me also symbolize being master being the surfer of emotions and you know allowing everything to be using them to my benefit and understanding them and playing with them rather than being afraid of them. And so I found myself pretty low and I was uh, again uh, swimming those waves of uh, pain again. And then uh, I was again, you know, silently screaming, releasing this stuff. And everything is possible it's beautiful it's beautiful and how this works I mean you don't really expect something to happen it happens and you realize oh wow I really wanted it to happen and I had no idea how it's going to happen and here it is it happened it's beautiful so I and hmm so yeah love topic here it is. You just, you have this feeling just right here, this area, at least I, but I presume it's, you know, similar for all of us. Right here. It's like, it's like pushing on this uh, chest area. Why it's pushing? Why it's a little bit uncomfortable? Because there was a lot of pain in there already because of unflattering beliefs. But also, when you just realize that uh, when you find out that another being exists and you just celebrate that, well, you cannot celebrate other person's being if you do not celebrate your own in the first place. But here you go. But I celebrate, so I'm okay with that. And this is so beautiful. This feeling, well, it's hard to put it in words. Words definitely do not reflect at all, but every single time feels exactly the same. And I know that this is the true nature and uh, everything can be so simple in interactions and so beautiful and so inspiring. Uh, but answers lie not on the surface, they lie higher. So I have to have this uh, perspective shift. Yeah, and you can, you can uh, figure, well, at least I, well, it's always understandable. It's like literally something that's moving in the chest. That's how energy starts to flow when you just witness someone. Oh, look at this beautiful trippy lines. I like that a lot. I'm going to leave it for a while like this. So you feel like, I feel like energy flows right here. I was like, ah, oh. well, exactly like these shades are moving right now. Like, ah, oh, the wave. Mm. 
literally orgasmic. I'm telling you, if I'm allowing myself to surrender to this feeling totally completely without bullshit ideas, I can have an orgasm. And let me tell you, it's not going to be genitalia kind of orgasm. I had this beautiful experience once, and I never talked about it in videos, well, uh, because it was very beautiful, and I just, you know, I just wanted to, I don't know, it felt too sacred to speak about, but definitely it has to be spoken about as its natural ability of uh, humans, but um, because it's, uh, I realized that orgasm can be as release of tension, or it can be as enjoyment. It's two different types of orgasm. First one comes from this really tense approach, when people just turned on and it's totally different and it's uh, connected with genitalia most of the time but second type is cellular orgasm when all the cells are vibrating with orgasm that's what I had once and once I had it and it was totally not connected with sex at all nothing like this it was just a essential orgasm of being after I had it I totally realized that that's what happens when personality surrenders to the essence, to the source. This is what happens when uh, I stop trying to control things that are hard. I just, I'm not going to do anything anymore. You know? I'm not going to do anything anymore. I was the person who was like, what I have to do in order to have that? What I have to do in order to have that? What I have to do in order to have that? That was a neurotic approach. Now I'm asking myself what I don't have to do in order just to feel good. After I feel good, everything else just falls into place. So, if only I'm just going to surrender to this feeling, I'm just going to have an orgasm, cellular orgasm, which the whole body vibrates with this. And because, man, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful creatures that I'm in love with, uh, that I have no idea you know, will they ever going to be in love with me, but I'm already in love with them. And it feels really good. It feels really good. <laughs> uh, this natural uh, state, and we don't have to put ourselves in a frame in order to experience that. We can already start experiencing that, okay? Light, a little bit of more of the light. So, uh, definitely... And I'm improvising, as always. Old wallpapers. Can you imagine your inner vision as this wall covered with old wallpapers? And you, you understand, I don't like it. Well, I'm not diving into the whole story behind why I'm actually having that, because it's still a different story, but um, it wasn't me who, well, whatever, whatever. <laughs> So the point is um, that inner field is covered with this wallpaper. Wallpapers are really old and you don't feel resonant with that anymore. So when you start to change your inner beliefs, that's what happens. This thing starts to be irritating because you feel like, oh, this is definitely not what I want. It's not what I pick for myself. It's just what previous generation picked for myself, they didn't ask me, do I want it, they just gave it to me like a heritage, and here I am with this shit, you know, but it's our responsibility to change that, and this process, while this thing starts to be ripped off, and you have this wall, uh, naked walls, uh, that's where also you can feel vulnerable, because even Though it's very old stuff still what's covering you and all of a sudden you're naked oh feels very uh weird and comfortable but as soon as you know that everything is all right with you and being naked is natural and beautiful then new wallpaper is just coming 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 and you create something really beautiful that feels inspiring for you and that is a consequence can inspire someone else inspire someone else but not the vice versa so um that was very spontaneous and it's already 12 minute 12 not 12 20 minutes wow well anyway so the point is 
Um, I is a personality. I'm information. I'm information. And I'm responsible for choosing this information. And I already started. And I'm in the process. And I'm curious to play this game because I was the one who was really serious my whole life. I was really serious and I was really tense. And I was serious because I was tense. I was tense everywhere, wherever I would go, I was tense everywhere. And that caused a lot of discomfort and pain. So now I'm just changing this thing. I'm changing this. And as soon as I surrender to myself, so beautiful things start to happen effortlessly. And this is really, man, this is orgasmic. So I was the one who tried to pick the hardest way in order to do something and then to inspire others or to prove something to myself. Because here in this uh, on social le level, in a lot of cases, when something comes easily to someone, people think, oh, this is nothing. But I realize that hard ways do not work for me because they destroy everything. Uh, and life is all about the game and having fun and enjoying the process. There is no final point where we just fix ourselves in and say, okay, I did all I wanted and I'm just going to I'd enjoy it or leave my body and just leave the planet and so-called die, you know what I mean? So there is no this final point whatsoever. Life is all about process. So here's what I'm doing. And it feels right. It feels really right from the inside. The first in my life I can feel I do something really important for myself. I do something important for myself, not for others who had different ideas and those ideas were totally distorted so i'm allowing love to enlighten all those dark places in me and let me tell you dark doesn't mean bad people have this idea that oh dark dark means bad evil no there is no such thing as evil or dark well um it can be dark but it's only because you have a lighting all up, so go right there, use the flash, or use the flashlight, or use just the light of your heart, and you're just going to see it all, and there is nothing to be afraid of, really, nothing. There is nothing in there that you cannot love. Nothing. So, okay. Hmm. No, they felt.